Hey friends, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going over 7 side hustles that you can start in your free time in 2022. And having a side hustle on top of your full time job can not only help you make an additional income stream, but also it can help you find your passion in case if the 9 to 5 job that you are currently doing is something that you are not planning to do for the rest of your life. If you are planning to start a side hustle in 2022, this is the video that you should be watching right now. And by the end of this video, you will take away with seven side hustles. And most importantly, this video will help you inspire to take action to start a side hustle and also generate additional income stream every single month. If that's what interests you, I will suggest you stay until the very end. And now let's get started. And the first side hustle that you can start today is to teach what you know. And that means being a tutor in a subject that you are confident in and help your students get the results that they want. And you can start tutoring in high school, college or post college and there are no restrictions on that. And at school, you might be the top student in science subjects or the math subjects and you can tutor those subjects to other students who are struggling in class and get paid for your tutoring service. However, if you're not confident in those subjects, that is totally fine and you're not alone. But you might be knowledgeable in different areas in life such as how to improve your public speaking skills or how to improve communication skills. There are endless skill sets that you can teach in life. However, it should be something that you're passionate about and also add value to other people and getting them results that they are chasing after. Now, before I jump to the next side hustle, I want to share my personal experience of being a tutor in the Bay Area. From my personal experience, I posted my tutoring service on Craigslist and the next day, the parent of a student reached out to me about my tutoring service. And so we had conversations back and forth about my tutoring service and now I'm tutoring a grade 9 student in the Bay Area and I'm charging him $40 an hour for my tutoring service. As I'm building up more teaching experience and collect testimonials from my students, then I will be able to charge more for my tutoring service in the near future. But as a side note, the hour rate that I just mentioned is not typical and should not be considered an average hour rate of a tutor in the United States. But there are so many factors that involve and that determine the average hour rate that you should be charging. Some factors that I can point out would be the location and the level of student that you are teaching and also the type of subjects that you are teaching plus your experience. So those are some of the factors that can determine how much you should be charging. And also I would recommend you to do some research on how much you should be charging based on your teaching experience and also the type of subject that you are tutoring in case if you are planning to start a tutoring business. The good thing about being a private tutor in the United States is that the income that I generate from my tutoring business is considered self-employed and meaning I am eligible to write off business expenses such as textbooks, other resources or technology gadgets such as getting a new laptop as long as I am using them for the purpose of running my tutoring business. But always, always, always consult with your CPA before making any financial decisions because I don't recommend you to listen to other people on YouTube blindly. But apart from that, make sure you smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm because it's free and there are no interest charges on that. Anyway, jokes aside, make sure you click the like button for supporting my channel. Tutoring is very lucrative if you can scale up and help more people and of course, the more people you can help, the more money you're going to make. And it is also a fulfilling career because you are helping someone achieve great results with your service. And the second side hustle that you can do is to start your own coaching program based on the niche that you're confident in. One ideal topic in the entrepreneurial niche would be how to grow your business from $0 to $100,000 in profit in one year. And that would be an interesting topic for the business owners. 
if you have the knowledge, experience, and the actual results of you or your clients, then you can help other business owners increase their revenue and get paid for your coaching service. And now let's move on to a completely different niche. If you're knowledgeable in weight loss niche, then you can teach your clients how to lose 40 pounds in 60 days. Based on that topic, you can come up with a coaching program with an enticing offer. And some of the enticing offers can include recorded video content, guides, templates, weekly assignments, one-on-one -on -one weekly Zoom sessions for six to seven weeks, private Facebook group, and other bonuses that you can provide. On weight loss coaching programs, I have seen people charging from $500 to $2,000 on their program. And if you are confident in the weight loss niche, then you can coach other people how to lose weight and get paid for your coaching service. And the general rule of thumb is that the bigger the problem that you can solve, the more money you are going to generate. And here's my tip on starting a coaching program. If you're interested in starting your own coaching program, then I would suggest you start with one of the following niches, health, wealth, relationship. Those three niches are very profitable if you come up with the right product with the right offer to the right audience. Coming up as a third side hustle is to start as a virtual assistant or in other words, a freelancer. And the good thing about being a freelancer is that you have the time freedom and the location freedom. Basically, you can work from anywhere in the world as long as you have an access to the internet. And since you are an independent contractor, you can choose at what time of the day you want to work and how many hours you want to work because you are basically self-employed. Hmm, I want to be self-employed one day. Hmm. With the help of freelancing platforms, such as Fiverr and Upwork, you can promote your services on those platforms and get clients. On that platform, there are so many services that other people are serving and how much they're charging and you can get general idea on the type of service that you are planning to offer on that platform. For example, you can be a graphic designer and create logos or create thumbnails for your clients. Or if you are an expert in using video editing software like Final Cut Pro or Adobe Premiere, then you can be a video editor and edit videos for your clients who are business owners or content creators. Since there is an increase in the population of content creators and business owners, there will be more demand on graphic design, video editing, and copywriting services. Another freelancing opportunity that you can start today is to start as a funnel builder or a funnel designer. And today, every online business needs a funnel. And a funnel can be used for different purposes such as driving leads or customers to the website or to sell an individual product or to sell multiple products through upsells. As a funnel designer, your job is to design converting funnels for businesses, coaches, consultants, and cost creators. For those of you who are not familiar with what funnels are, they are a series of web pages designed to convert potential leads to paying customers. In the market, funnel designers are charging somewhere from $500 to over $2,000 depending on their funnel building experience and also the testimonials from their clients. And the more experience or the testimonials they have, then the more they will be charging for funnel building services. For example, let's say you are charging $1,000 to build funnels for your clients. And then if you are serving four clients per month, then you will be making somewhere around $4,000 per month by building funnels for your clients. And that is completely mind blowing. As a funnel designer, you will need a funnel building software like ClickFunnels. Currently at the time of making this video, it is offering 30 day trial for you to test it out and see if you like the software to build funnels for your business. After the 30 day trial, if you find ClickFunnels platform useful, then you can choose the basic tier of $97 per month to build funnels for your business or to build funnels for other people's businesses. If you are using funnels to drive leads to your business or to sell multiple products through funnels, 
then $97 per month is way worth it. If you're interested in learning more about funnels or sales funnels, then I will share the link down below for you to check it out. And also I will show some resources in this video to help you kickstart funnel building career. And the first tip is to join the 30 day challenge hosted by ClickFunnels. Personally, I have joined the challenge two times and I have learned a lot of business strategies, marketing strategies, and other business tips that you would not learn at school. From knowing nothing about funnels to mastering the fundamentals of funnels in 30 days is quite phenomenal. And it is only $100 to join the challenge. And if you're interested to learn more about funnels, this 30 day challenge is a great start and you will learn a lot of knowledge from this challenge. The second resource to learn about sales funnels is to read Dotcom Secrets by Russell Brinson, who is the co-founder of ClickFunnels. If you're confident with a skill set that can help businesses streamline their workflow, then I would suggest you start promoting about your service on freelancing websites that I just mentioned. And make sure you check how much your competitors in your niche are charging on their service so that you can get a general idea of how much you should be charging on your service. Another way you can generate site income is to sell products on e-commerce platforms such as eBay, Walmart, Amazon, or Craigslist. The idea is getting items for cheap and reselling them at a higher price for a profit. This can help you generate more money if you know where to source the products. For example, Gary V keeps looking for cheap products at yard sale or garage sales and reselling them at a higher price on eBay. This is just an example of where you can source the products from, or there are other places where you can get the products for cheap, such as Costco and Walmart. Before you start selling, I would recommend you to do your own research on how to start, how to operate, and where to source the products from before you actually dive into the flipping business. And the business model is called drop shipping. And if you're interested in flipping products, then I would recommend you to do your own research and educate yourself before actually starting the business. Another side hustle is literally a no brainer. And you can find some side gigs such as dog worker on Craigslist and make some quick bucks. Or you can look out for more part time opportunities like restaurant server or barista at Starbucks. There are so many opportunities out there, so I would recommend you to do your own research on the industry that you want to work in. And the very last side hustle you can start today is to create content on YouTube and Facebook. And just like this video you are watching right now. Or if you are confident with your writing skills, then you can write blog posts on Medium. Content creation is a very long journey and it will take months or years to actually make ad revenue from your content. You have to be very patient and be comfortable with providing free value up front without expecting anything in return. What you need to do is you will need to create a library of content within the niche that you are passionate about. For example, on YouTube, that will be a library of video content and on Medium, that will be a library of blog posts. However, don't get me wrong, that does not mean that you cannot make money from your content in the beginning of your content creation journey. Some creators are creating review videos on different products and if they make sales through their affiliate links, then they get a commission on every sale. It is known as affiliate marketing. It is one of the income streams that content creators at different levels can benefit from. And other creators are leveraging Patreon platform, which charges monthly subscriptions to their audience. And in return, the content creators provide exclusive content that they do not post on YouTube or Facebook or other social media platforms and additional perks such as weekly Zoom sessions or monthly Zoom sessions. Again, that should be a value to value exchange in order to get support from your audience, then you should be over delivering your service to make their money's worth. That's a wrap for now. Thank you very much for making this video until the very end. And if you find this video helpful and get inspiration to start your own side hustle today, then please click that like button 
and hit that subscribe button down below in the description and make sure you hit that notification bell so that you can get updates on whenever I upload new videos just like this. And also make sure you comment down below on what type of side hustle you are planning to start in 2022. I make video content on personal finance, investing, side hustles, entrepreneurship, lifestyle videos as well. So if one of those topics interests you, then please click the subscribe button and make sure you hit that notification down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.